Yo, these views are seriously breathtaking. Oh man. Have I mentioned that I love Wyoming? <laughs> and I think to myself, what a wonderful What a wonderful world. Good morning. We found ourselves in the middle of nowhere again, and we're still in Wyoming, and we don't want to drive after dark, but last night, again, we had to. Only for a little bit, though, to find this in the middle of nowhere campground. <laughs> we actually pulled off on this huge pull-off because we planned to stay off the side of the road. Thank you. My multivitamin. So obviously we're in the Wyoming wilderness and we pull off with this big pull off to sleep for the night and you know I do my normal bear calls. F off, F out of here, yelling to scare them away. And just in the slight distance we hear like four coyotes. I think it was way more than four and I said, John I don't like this because I always have to get out and pee in the middle of the night. So it's my fault we had to drive farther at dark. Well, we found this campground, which was probably like 15 minutes beyond that pull-off. And it's cold. 48. 48, it says. When we were on the uh, Cloud Peak Skyway yesterday, it was 41 degrees. But today we're uh, on our way to Grand Teton and Uh, I, I thought I was trying to make a video. This one's clanking and clinging and... <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is bear proof all right. This is a bear... This is a bear resistant food storage container, it says. Apparently it's a Kayla resistant. <laughs> I can't do it. Anyway, we're on our way to Grand Teton and Yellowstone today. We're about an hour out from Grand Teton, but it's like 7.30, so we're gonna hit the road. Driving down the road in middle of nowhere Grand Teton, we just entered. I found this very nice man to clean our windows. Thank you, nice man. Hundred dollar. <laughs> I'm excited. I've never seen a pronghorn before. Leave it up to Grand Teton to show me my first mountains. Rockies, they're beautiful. This is exciting because like whenever you look up pictures of Grand Teton, like this is what you see. Like that barn house whatever that is, and then the Rocky Mountains in the background. It's called Mormon's Row. So we just found out that that one was built in 1925, and this one was built in the 1800s. It's the oldest one. 1893. Still, we were still at Mormon Row. This is the original Mormon Row. This, I, I guess this is the one that you see in all the pictures and calendars and scenic shots and whatnot.
needs to be documented. It's not me for once getting hurt. John is hurting himself every time you turn around. Every time he tries to put the camera on the roof, he's hurting himself. What do you have to say for yourself? You <laughs> Y'all better appreciate his pain for these views. Ow! <laughs> what happened? I'm not gonna have any knees left after this trip. <laughs> it's not me for once. 